Salam sobatku Pada kesempatan kali ini Saya ingin membahas pertanyaan dari ulama Indonesia Yang bernama Ustadz Insan Moko Ginta Seperti yang ketahui Banyak sekali ulama-ulama Islam Yang menyerang iman kekristenan kita Tetapi segala serangan yang mereka tujukan kepada kita Selalu dapat kita patahkan dengan mudah Ketika para ulama ini sudah kehabisan akal Untuk menyerang iman kekristenan kita Segala cara pun mereka lakukan Ibarat pepatah mengatakan Tak ada rotan, akar pun jadi. Sebagai contoh, salah satunya adalah Ustadz Pelawa ini yang bernama Insan Moko Ginta. Setelah segala upaya yang coba digunakan oleh Ustadz ini untuk menyerang Christian Prince Nyungsep alias gagal, si Ustadz ini mencoba menyerang Christian Prince dengan cara kocak, yakni Ustadz ini memberikan pertanyaan yang sangat-sangat-sangat dipaksakan untuk Christian Prince jawab. Seperti yang saya katakan di awal tadi, banyak upaya yang dilakukan para ulama Islam untuk menyerang kekristenan. Tetapi, seperti yang telah saya katakan juga, segala upaya tersebut selalu dapat kita mentalkan dengan mudah. Dan sekarang, mari kita lanjutkan dengan pertanyaan konyol selanjutnya. The fourth, you are convinced that the Bible is Allah's words, aren't you? My question is, So me the first that tells Allah's words sounding. I am the one who re- revealed the Bible, and I am also the one who got it. If you find it, another new BMW car is for you. We are not. We don't believe in Allah. Allah cannot even make one word from the Bible. Who said to you that we believe that Allah is the one? When we answer you, Muslims, we showed you what is in your book. Your book saying that the Bible is the word of Allah. It's not I'm confirming it. What's wrong with those people? All this time, you don't even know what Christian prince teach. Christian prince teach that Allah is a joke. We don't believe in Allah. We laugh at Allah. He does not exist. It's a fabricated name by the devil, which his name is Muhammad. which is a copy from the pagan Arab before Islam. So don't say you are believing that the Bible is the word of Allah. I believe that the Quran says that, not me. Aren't you? My question is, so me the first that tells Allah's words sounding, I am the one who ref- Refilled the Bible, and I am also the one who got it. Have to say that exactly, guys. It have to say that sentences. If you don't give me the sentences, that's it. They have to say I am the one who revealed the Bible, and he have to say I am the one who will collect it. But look what you just did, you idiot! You just got yourself busted. Here we go. You made a challenge, right? You are a donkey. Sebelum video ini dimulai, klik dulu tombol subscribe dan jangan lupa nyalakan loncengnya supaya kalian mendapatkan notifikasi setiap kali saya upload video. Tekan tombol subscribe itu gratis, tinggal diklik, saya tungguin. 3, 2, 1. Selamat, Anda sudah bergabung dengan channel ini dan terima kasih sudah support di channel ini. Thank you. Allah, He says both as you say it. Both as you say. Now what you will do, every, every Muslim will see that you are a certified idiot who do not know your book. All those chapters in the Quran speaking about Allah sending down the gospel and the Torah. Do you see it? Chapter 3, verse number 3. Very easy to remember. Now, we go to different verses in the Quran. Chapter 15, verse number 9. It says, Inna andalina dhikr wa inna lahu lahafizun. The Muslim, they lie in the translation and they use the word Quran, I can see it. Indonesian. 
nowhere in the translation nowhere in the Arabic it says Quran you know how Quran is written in Arabic right no Quran the Muslim they claim that this is a verse about the Quran okay so what is the word there is a dhikr the Muslim they claim that a dhikr is the Quran let us take the word a dhikr and do a little search in the Quran one more just to show you how we get them busted with no mercy we will post the same word <clears throat> Read carefully. وَلَقَدْ كَتَبْنَا فِي الزُّبُورِ مِنْ بَعْدِ الذِّكْرِ What? We wrote in the psalm after the message was given to Moses, but what is the word here? A dhikr. So you see what is a dhikr? A dhikr is the book which is given to Moses. So why in the other verse translation they say this is Quran? Hello, begini. Berarti uh, bisa saya katakan, kalau belajar Islam dengan menggunakan bahasa Indonesia bisa tersesat. Betul. Quran. This is exactly the same word. Let us go back. Huh? Do you see it? This is the word ad dhikr I will take a snapshot of it. Because you might not be a person who speak Arabic, but at least you can compare between them, right? Okay, this is the word ad dhikr We send down ad dhikr and the Muslim they translate it as Quran, which is false. No Quran here. This is Ad-Dhikr. Take a snapshot. All right. Now we go to the other verse. And we will put the word together next to each other. This is the word Ad-Dhikr here. Take a snapshot. And here it says the message of Moses. <laughs> <laughs> all right and now what we will do we will open the two images and they will put them next to each other is that fair guys the same word exactly the same exact word all right this is the first sentence and this is the second sentence be my witness The one you see in the screen is a chapter number 21, verse number 15. The other verse is a chapter 15, verse number 9. Okay. So we will put chapter 15, verse number 9 next to this one. Isn't it exactly the same word? So why the Muslim they say this is Quran? Where it says Quran? This is the word dhikr, and this is the word dhikr. Do you see it? But in chapter 15, let me let me switch to the other uh, verse actually. Hold on. I'm showing you the same one. Give me a second. Switch the page. Okay, here. 105, chapter uh, 21, 105. Let us put it back. Okay. And chapter 15, verse number 9, this is exactly the same word. This is ad dhikr and this is ad dhikr So why do you translate here the word ad dhikr as Quran? Do you see how they lie? ad dhikr is the book of Moses. According to the translation you see in the front of you, all what we need to do, we move this thing away. Hmm. Read. It says what? The book of Moses. What is that book? The Torah. 
So show me where Allah, he said, he will reserve his book, which is the Torah and the Injil. Well, in this verse, it's mentioned the Torah for sure. Because in Nazalna Dhikr wa inna lahu lahafidun, we send down a dhikr. And the Muslim lie saying that in the translation saying that this is the Quran. Do you see? Do you see Muslim? So this guy is making a challenge saying to you, show me where it says that the Quran says that. And they lie to you in the translation. They translate the word as the Quran. But as you see, it cannot be the Quran because the Quran confirmed that the word, the, the book at Dhikr, the book which is called at Dhikr, is a book sent after. Let me show you again. Before we wrote the psalm after a dhikr. So what is written after and before? The psalm written after a dhikr. Islam menghalalkan segala cara untuk menyerang kekristenan. Hal ini juga merupakan perintah dari agama mereka. Hal ini merupakan salah satu bentuk jihad bila agama dalam agama mereka. Sehingga, saya memandang hal ini bukan sesuatu yang mengherankan. Terlebih lagi, karena banyaknya kasus orang murtad di Indonesia. Dalam kasus orang murtad ini, ternyata si Ustadz tidak mengelak. Berikut buktinya dalam video berikut ini. Tahu nggak Bapak Ibu, pemurtadan di dunia ini ya, paling berhasil di Indonesia loh. Yang mayoritas muslim, setiap tahun itu lebih satu juta orang Islam masuk Kristen. Saking frustasinya menyerang kekristenan dan banyaknya kasus orang murtad di Indonesia, akhirnya si Ustadz ini mengajukan enam pertanyaan frustasinya kepada Christian Prince dan menjanjikan BMW untuk Christian Prince jika Christian Prince bisa menjawab pertanyaannya. katakan kalau belajar Islam dengan menggunakan bahasa Indonesia bisa tersesat betul Sup, syukur maaf oke okay. berarti pada umat muslim jangan baca bahasa Indonesianya tersesat dong